Well, good morning. Welcome to Sunrise with Pastor Hayton again. We enjoy this so very much, and I hope that you enjoy it just half as much as I enjoy doing it. You know, in the book of Revelation, we read seven letters to the churches of Asia written by the Apostle John while he was out on the Isle of Patmos. And uh, we learn a lot from reading the Revelation. Generally, when we look to the Revelation, we're looking for the glorious truths about heaven. But uh, the first part of Revelation kind of gives a portrayal of the spiritual condition of the different church ages. And there's the church age known as the Laodicean church, and it was known for its lukewarmness. Jesus said in, uh, in uh, inspiring John to write about this church, I know thy works, because thou art neither hot nor cold, but lukewarm, I will spew thee out of my mouth. You know, sometimes we look around, we say, oh, there's many lukewarm Christians, and the church is so lukewarm today. And yet, let's think about, we are the church. And uh, if the church is lukewarm, it must be because there are so many of us that have grown lukewarm. I remember a song that I used to hear as a child. Fact is, I sang in a quartet for a while at Bible College. We called it the Four Flats. We never got too far in the entertainment field, but... What little singing we did in various uh, school activities, we enjoyed it. And I played the guitar and sang. Bob Justice sang Hillbilly Tenor. Russell Stanley sang uh, bass. And uh, Eddie McComb sang baritone. I did the lead on the guitar. But we used to sing this song, and it was just called Lukewarm. And I'm not sure that after all these years I can do it well, but here's kind of how it goes, and it ought to inspire us to... Uh, be a little bit more in our spiritual condition than just lukewarm. I walked in a restaurant at noon Where the bill of fare said home cooking For a walnut food that was pure and good For nourishment was looking but Just some old stale pie, and the bread was dry. I never went there again. Well, went to a church tall and fair, and the bell was ringing away. electric lights with eager steps I entered but the preacher's sermon was just lukewarm the songs and the prayers were the same all emotion crushed every sums it up. You know, I kind of believe that we don't need a new church today. We just need a revival in the churches that we have. And I know there's a lot of interest in, you know, pumping things up, but I believe that God can cause us to be on fire for Him. 
He can give us a fervent love and a fervent zeal. I don't want to be a lukewarm Christian that's a part of a lukewarm church. And if you've grown lukewarm in your spiritual experience today, uh, you know you can have a part in making the church more of what God wants it to be. Let's pray together. Heavenly Father, we know how you feel about lukewarmness. He said, because you're lukewarm, I will spew thee out of my mouth. Help us to be on fire for God. Give us a fervent love. Give us fervent zeal. We pray thee, O Lord, that we'll never get to the place where we're repulsive to God. Bless us throughout this day of life. Help us to love and to serve thee and to be at our best. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, thanks for putting up with us today on Sunrise with Pastor Hayton. We'll see you tomorrow, good Lord willing. Goodbye now and have a great day.